joined by Steve Buller, a global portfolio manager with Fidelity. Steve, thank you for joining us. No problem. Steve, what have been the uh, major themes in the international market in the last year or so? Well, there's a couple of themes. Similar to the U.S., we had a re-equitization, a recapitalization in some countries, particularly the United Kingdom, Australia, and to a lesser extent in Singapore. Also at the same time, we had some markets, most, most of them in the emerging markets, had very good fundamentals, especially in the residential for sale. If one looked at India, China, Philippines, for example, they actually had very buoyant residential for sale markets. So in that respect, it's quite different from the developed markets, which we're still dealing with the balance sheets. We're now moving more into a stage where it's looking for external growth, primarily through acquisitions. And that's the theme that we see as here in the US, in the United Kingdom, Australia, and also Japan. And are there any specific regions that you think might be more active in terms of the acquisition transition uh, transaction market? I would say where the problems or the difficulties on the credit or the banking side are the most pronounced. So uh, we would think the United Kingdom would be by far the top of the list where you'll see distressed or distressed with quotes around it, assets for sale. And the public real estate model, is it, do you feel that that's taking hold and gaining momentum worldwide? Yeah, after a couple of years, we've had a pause in that, whereby we've seen the securitization trend, that is the transformation of ownership from private, individuals, corporations, insurance companies, institutions, to publicly listed, took a pause the last couple of years. We see that starting to reaccelerate with the emergence of more REIT-like structures in some countries and more flotations of public offerings. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us, Steve. You're, you're welcome. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com. <laughs>